Let's take our next question. That is question number 148. This question belongs to chapter ray optics from the topic telescope. Let's see. Assume that the light of wavelength 600 nanometers is coming from a star. The limit of resolution of a telescope whose objective has a diameter of 2 meter is. So we have to find the limit of resolution. And we all know the formula for limit of resolution is. Let me write that for you. Limit of resolution. That is equals to 1.22 lambda by d. Right, where d is the diameter of that lens. So it is 1.22. What is the wavelength? So wavelength coming is 600 nanometer. Now what is the diameter that is given as 2? So we will write it as 6 into 10 to power minus 7. Right, because the nanometers I have converted it into meters, and this is solving this, I will get 3.66 10 to power minus 7 meters radian. Right. Let's see which is the best suited option among the four. So among the four given options, yes, option number four is the correct answer. I hope you have understood this question very easily. Now let's move on to our next question. Now this question number 149 belongs to chapter kinematics, one dimension motion. This is an easy formula based question. As per the question, a ball is thrown vertically downward with a velocity of 20 meter per second from the top of a tower. It hits the ground after some time with a velocity of 80 meter per second. The height of tower is yes. And it's an easy formula based questions. Let's start solving it. So if you apply the formula v square minus u square equals to twice a s. Since the ball has been thrown downwards. So the downward will be taken as a positive convention here. So this is 80 square minus 20 square that is equals to 2 into 10 that is acceleration due to gravity and this is height of the tower which we have to find. If we solve this you will get 6400 minus 400 that is equals to 20 h right. Solving this you will get h is equals to 300 meters. Let's see which is the best suited option among the four given to us. Yes option number three is the correct answer to this question. Now let's move on to our next question that is question number 150. Now this question belongs to chapter kinetic theory of gases. As per the question, a cylinder contains hydrogen gas at a pressure of 249 kilopascal and temperature of 27 degree centigrade. Its density is, we have to find the density and gas constant is given to us. Now let's solve it. Now as per the formula, PV is equals to NRT. Where P is pressure, V is volume, N is the number of moles, R is gas constant, and T is the temperature in kelvins. So I can write PV is equals to given mass upon molecular mass of the gas, right, into R into T. So from here, if I shift V, what I'll get is P is equals to density by molecular mass into R into T. Now, this gas is what? Hydrogen gas, right? So what is the value of pressure? This is known temperature. If I convert it, it will be 300 kelvin. Right, I have to put the values in Kelvin. So we'll put that and this is R. So let's put down the values. We will get density is equals to pressure molecular mass divided by R T. Let's put the values 249 kilopascal that is 10 to power 3 into mass is 2 grams. So I have to convert it into kg divided by R 8.3 into 300. When you solve this, you will get 0 0.2 kg per meter cube, right? Let's see which is the best suited option. Among the four given, yes, option number one is the correct answer to this question. I hope you have understood this question. Now let's move on to our next question.